hi guys and welcome in this video we will be taking a look at this samsung galaxy j7 phone from 2017 you can get see here the model it's j730f and the problem with this one is that is that it it powers on but shows nothing on the screen so i think you can see here it's a I think here it is broken it seems quite deep so let's see if it will vibrate I don't know if you heard it but it vibrated now let's remove the the protective I don't know the protective glass cover and it broke nice I think it's a cheap one since it broke so easily Okay, so the screen protector is removed. Now I will take a closer look to see if I can spot where the display is broken. Right, so at a closer look, the phone has the glass has no scratches because of the screen protector, and the display looks to be perfect. But at a closer look, I have noticed a spot right here can see it and there appears to be some lines that run across the screen so let me take this to point so here appears to be the problem and there is running down the, the phone it's quite hard to show on camera but I think you get the idea of what I'm trying to show you down here And also the phone does nothing I will try connecting a charger to show that it vibrates but nothing else so let's plug the charger it vibrated but nothing Let's try again. Vibrated but nothing on the screen. So I will have to remove this one and I will try to do in one piece and maybe separate the display for, from the glass. I think this is a Super AMOLED screen and I want to see what's inside. Okay, I have some good and bad news, which is kind of the same news, but from different points. So I was looking for a place to insert this plastic card to start the repair. And guess what? Here at the bottom, no hit added. Cards enter and slides all the way across. I mean, until it reaches the line of the display. So this indicates that either it was replaced at some point which I don't think so because it's the original color which is a silver blue and another thing that I 
thought about considering the damage here might be water damage here in the flesh and also here I'm not so sure and maybe the water affected the adhesive it's not holding anything so I simply can slide the card here with no effort no heat applied and yeah we'll have to open and see if we have any water damage right so after looking a little bit I think this is not water damage this is a poor job because I can slide the card all the way up without any effort and up we have the same issue the card simply slides across no problem so I think this is a, this was a poor repair or something I don't know but I will crack up I will power on the heat station and remove the display and since you have seen this a lot of times I will simply rip, uh, take off the display to make a shorter video right so I have just finished removing the screen now all I have to do is to disconnect it alright so I have some indicators that this is not an original screen the fact that it was so easy to remove the fact that here is some double sided adhesive tape on minimal places this here I think it's some garbage adhesive or old adhesive I'm not exactly sure what it is and also the screen just cracked in multiple places and if I manage to take another card and put it in between here where it cracked yeah I, I, I can slide the card underneath the glass and the display which to me is unheard of I think it's not okay to simply slide the card like this under an OLED display I think the glass and the display should be one panel not multiple panels so let me know what you think I think I will separate and keep the glass and throw the display I mean recycle it as for the phone I'm surprised there is no clamp over here to keep the display connected and yeah if you can look if you can see here is some double sided adhesive tape you can clearly see the strip of adhesive at the bottom and on the right so this was a prior repair and uh, from my point of view not very good one I have nothing with the screen if the screen works it can be an OLED it can be a Super AMOLED it could be an LCD I don't care as long as it, if it works it works and in the case that the original is too expensive maybe I will buy a replacement just so just to show you that you can do this repair cheaply and still get a good product out of it so yeah I will separate the glass next and I will do that off camera just to get some practice and keep this as a souvenir from this repair alright so from what I'm seeing it appears to be an original panel but the, the layers have separated and I'm left with this polarizer film glued to the glass I mean you can see that for example with this card it gets a little bit darker when it's underneath and this will be quite painful to remove, to remove but nonetheless I have nothing else to do until the new display arrives so I'll have some fun with this right so I finished separating the glass from the display as you can see I only have the glass which I will keep and also uh, I have kept the cable because I completely destroyed the display when removing it from the glass and here you can see that this is not an original sticker 
it was an aftermarket display so i have ordered my replacement part it has arrived coincidentally it's from the same company so let's open it Okay, just a second. Okay, it should be here. And I have also ordered another tool. And I hope it has arrived together with the display here. Right, here is the new tool that I have ordered. It is a very thin metal piece which is supposed to replace the, um, the playing cards, the plastic playing cards that I have been using. You can see it's a curved screen disassembler. And yeah, I will test this in newer videos. So hope this works. And here is supposed to be the new touch screen and display assembly let's check this out so i couldn't find silver blue and i have ordered silver but to me looks almost identical but who knows maybe you can spot the difference Right, so let's put it and test it. Right, so unfortunately the screen is not functional. I mean the phone is turning on, is recognized by my computer, but it's still black. And after, after a closer inspection, you can see that thing right there. The screen appears to be bulging a little bit. I mean, maybe it was... On replaced or repaired let's see if it focuses yeah but it's right there it's obvious so I'm gonna have to call and return this one and hopefully they will send me another one so I'll see you guys maybe next week don't know how much time it will take all right so good news i don't know what i did but i disassembled the phone completely cleaned everything and now the display is working i don't know if it was from the battery from the display connector or whatever else it was but now it's working and i'm quite happy so i will let this thing power on of course it has some personal information maybe from the previous owner that sold me the phone so in just a little bit i will show you how it works okay so for that we need to go to the phone and have star hashtag zero star hashtag and this is the Samsung menu and now let's see I'm interested in touch and if you can see the big X on the screen with the sides it's a little bit hard when the screen moves basically you can see that everything works so that was what I was interested so now I will remove everything from this phone I mean erase everything and then we'll be good to go 
be, and by that I mean I will be back to install the screen properly. Alright, so now that the phone has been resetted, all we have to do is to glue back the display. So for that, I will lift it, peel off the films and put rubber bands around. Right, so I had to use some double sided adhesive tape because it didn't have any adhesive on the middle, only on the top and the bottom. And I put it with the elastics to keep it in place until the adhesive finds a good bond. Sorry, my camera just fell. Right, so the phone is still working, as you can see. So let's turn it off. And we will leave it like this with face down and some weight on top until tomorrow. So yeah, see you for the for the final reveal. Alright, so it is now the next day and the phone should be about ready. Let's take off the elastics. And the repair is complete. We go down to about. We can see that it's an, it's running Android seven. And it's a Samsung J seven. Here is the model. It's from two thousand seventeen. And now there's there's only one thing left to do, and it's to peel the cover. and it is done and i think it's what it was quite a satisfying process to watch from start to finish so that was it if you enjoy please leave a like and consider subscribing